Hey babe, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there at like 5.30. No, no, you don't have to bring that, no. Come on, not again. I'm not sucking your toes tonight. Oh, no. This is the third night in a row. Okay, at least put peanut butter on it. Alright, right, I'll see you at 5.30. FS part three rating subscribers. Don't tell me that was recording the whole time. Guess we're rolling. Um, what's up, guys? Welcome to Lifestyle. It's Deontay bringing back a brand new video. This is part three of rating your guys' cars. This video is 100% for my Acura TL enthusiasts. Make sure you guys drop a like if you own an Acura TL. And the shirt is too small, but I don't want to change it. Gains. Ooh. Mm. This is part three of the series. If you haven't seen part one or part two with all the other cars I rated, make sure you guys check those out. But this is part three, which means it's the best version you're gonna get of the series. It's 100% Acura TLs, and I threw in a couple TSX because, I mean, it's the same family. I didn't count how many cars we have today, but there's a ton. The purpose of this video is for other TL owners to watch this video and get ideas for their build and to see different, um, see different mods and looks and colorways and stuff like that on cars and get ideas for your car uh, build yourself. So if it's stock, I gotta move on. I'm not gonna give it a rating. I'm just gonna say something about it and move on. It's gonna be really quick. So the first set of like 50 cars, I'm gonna give each of them like maybe two seconds and then we're gonna move on. So if that was one of your guys' cars, there's no hate or anything on your car. You might be in the beginning stages of your build and that's totally fine. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna make it really quick. But before we hop in officially, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you follow my Instagram right here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, drop a like on this video, drop a comment, especially if you see your car. So like always, we got the laptop sitting right here, right in front of me, and I got our first listings of cars. So here goes the first set of cars you guys are seeing on the screen right now. This black one right here is like you're like two steps away from looking like my car so I, I did put you in this section just because I mean it's a type S it's 100% stock these cars are still super special to me and the photo is really dark so I kind of rated them by the photo quality as well Need a new paint job. I'm not gonna spend much time. <laughs> you need Deontay's little touch on the headlights. <laughs> Your car's been pretty ran through, but if you love it, you love it. Following up with that, we got this uh, blue. Uh, the paint looks really good, but look at that wheel in the front. Like the wheels look huge. Or is that just or, like just looks huge? So it looks so out of place. This next guy does not deserve an A spec lip. You guys see how he's parked? Yeah. No go. This black TL, he may be 100% stock, but look at the potential in that. This blue one, like, why do you enter a sideways photo? The colorway on this blue one is nice. Your front grill needs. Why'd you enter this picture? Like, out of all pictures, that's the best picture you got. Come on, man. Oh, uh, this white one, it looks really good. All he needs right now is to paint the rear. Ah, oh, what's it called? Mud, the mud catchers things right there. Hey, look at this guy's wide body kit. He DM'd me. He wanted an opinion on his wide body kit, so I'm gonna give it to you right here in this video. No. I have the Type S bumper, then you try to put the, the mud flap things on it, and it's just not fitting right, and it's not flush at all. Now, I don't even know why this guy entered his car, and then the next thing he said in the DMs was, these are my snow tires. Then don't send a picture of that, like, why would you send a picture of that setup then? I wanted to talk about this guys a little bit. Um, everybody wants the A-spec lip, but this lip right here, like, the more I look at it, it's not that bad at all. I don't know where he gets this lip from because I haven't searched, but if someone can link that real quick, I wanna check it out. We got a 2014 or 2012, I don't know. It's got wheels on it. to the next section. First up, we got this silver TL. Uh, there's a lot going on in this photo. First of all, we got all the aero, uh, aerodynamic work going on in the front. The headlight little strip on top, that obviously that stands out a ton. It may look good if it was silver and matched, but this one doesn't look good. 
5 out of 10. Next up we got this red one, it puts a smile on my face. I think this is the only red of the bunch, but it is done really clean. Just like, he accomplished perfect fitment in my opinion. Everything he's done has brought out the beauty of this car, so. And again, you guys see the front lip? It looks really good. I'll give this car an 8 going blacked out with the white. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 7. Uh, really simple, pretty much stock from the looks of it. Uh, he might be on coils and he got the, um, the rear visor and stuff going on. But I'm going to give it a 6 along with the other one. Uh, he got the full A-spec kit going around. Naruto Gray. I don't know why I said that. Is that even a color? It just came to my head. But anyways, this car is really nice. His fitment with coils is really nice. I know he has some performance. He's a full bolt-on build. I've seen him on um, Instagram. But it looks really clean and I like the setup. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I know it's been through a ton but you still haven't done the headlights, which is get rid of that orange inside the headlights. I'm gonna be doing it to my TL suit, so don't dog on me. Right, look at that. Low TLs are the best. I'm gonna give this one a seven. I think this car deserves an eight. Headlights again, though. Oh, I know this guy from Instagram. Um, very clean, kinetic blue, type S. Oh, man. Another photo of it with his buddy, also from Philly, with another clean type S that's silver. In this picture, I'm going to give both these cars, I like the Kinetic Blue better, so I'm going to give the Kinetic Blue an 8, and I'm going to give the Silver one 7.5. First TSX, this one is on stock wheels. He has a little bit more done than the average stocky. I'm curious to see what this guy's wheel choice is. I'm going to give you a 6.5. The front lip is killer, for sure. I like it. Again, it's very simple, and... I still love these cars, like, it's one of the best cars made, period. So I'm gonna give this car a 7. We got, ooh, he got the big duck lip on the back. This one, this photo makes it look really big, but he could go a little bit lower, in my opinion. Give it a 6.5. Next up, we got another TL. I don't even know why I'm saying next up we got another TL. Uh, if I've said that throughout this whole video, I'm sorry. He got the full carbon hood and fenders. Really tuck. He is tucking. He is tucking a lot. I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half. The wheel fitment just looks kind of off. The Type S is nice. Must be nice. We're gonna give you a seven. I'm not gonna talk about headlights all day, but I like the carbon fiber with the gold wheels. I like that look. And with the white, it just, it kind of brings it all together. Give this one a seven. Uh, the wheels, I like a lot. Other than that, it seems pretty basic. I'd give it a chrome delete and call it good. Maybe lower a little bit. We're gonna give you a six and a half. Check out this TL, guys. What do you guys think about these wheels? I think they just speak a lot. They're really bold. Besides the roof uh, visor scoop thing he has going on, the car looks really good. The wheels, I mean, I like them. The, the fitment's good. He has it done right, so. I think they're 20s though, and they just look a little too big, so I'm gonna give it this car a seven and a half. Cool spot for a photo. For some reason, I feel like I've seen this TL before. I might have rated it in my last video. But I'm gonna give this one um, a six and a half. I'm not a huge fan of those wheels. Ooh, a red one. Again, um, I like it. Six and a half. What do you guys think about these wheels? This guy's making me want a white type vest, but uh, he achieved a nice fitment. Looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good, man. Besides a little bit of tint, I like this car a lot. I'm gonna give this one a nine. Next up, we got one that looks really similar to it. It doesn't have the splitter, and it has silver wheels. I like this one too, and it has the tint on it, so I'm gonna give this one an eight, actually. I think the other one was a little bit better. Ooh, actually, he's got the switchbacks in the headlights, though, and the halos. Man, I don't know. You guys know me, I like them really low. The other guy was lower. That, that's not like my reasoning, but I, I just I just think the other one beat it. So I'm gonna give this one an eight. A lot of people do not put spoilers on these cars. This guy did. It's speaking a lot, and I don't like it. The one sitting next to it is better, to, in my opinion. For the white one, I'm gonna give it a five. For the black one, I'm gonna give it a seven. He just needs some headlight restoration. Yeah, uh, the lip looks good. It looks like it fits good. Um, I'm gonna give this one a, a six. Here's what I came here for. 
them good quality photos. Not those wheels, they look expensive. You look like you dropped a couple racks on those wheels, but I like this car a lot. Man, why are you interrupting me? I'm gonna give this one a nine. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna give this one a 10. I felt bad in my last video, I didn't give out any 10s at all. And then I'm like, these cars were like really nice. So I'm gonna give this one a 10. This is one of the nicest ones in this bunch I've seen so far. I even got the hood spacers. What do you guys think about the hood spacers in it? Check out this white TL next up with the RPF ones. Um, I do like the RPF ones on white TLs. I don't, not just white TLs, but on TLs in general. I actually do like them. This one looks really good. I'm gonna give this one an eight. Now this black TL looks really good to me too. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I think it has a ton of potential, but I'm sure a lot of you guys out there like. It's perfect the way it is. So I think it looks good. Another black TL with RPF ones. Um, looks good. I'm gonna give it a seven, and we'll move on. This white TL stands out to me a lot. If I had a base TL, this is what I would want it to look like. This looks really good. I think he's on bass from the look of it. If he's if he's not. Uh, doesn't matter. For anyone out there with the base TL and you're looking for something to do with it, here's a clear example of something that looks really clean. It doesn't have to have the A-spec, and I think the rear has A-spec, but look at it. It looks really clean. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I like it a lot. There's this TL that's about to be scraping badly. He probably just took a picture because he looks so low. I'm going to give this one a 7 and move on. But I'm seeing this lip more and more, and it does not look bad at all. I'm gonna give this one a six and a half. Those look like some Amazon visors, so. Show-worthy TL here. Uh, I'm gonna give this one straight off the bat a nine. It looks, the paint looks flawless, and I should go back to LED on the fog, shouldn't I? I'm gonna go do that to my TL today. A roller, this TL looks good. I'm gonna give this one a seven. Now this white TL has a little bit different uh, bumper style than the other ones did, or lip. Uh, I like this one. I think the other one's a little better without that gap right there, right next to the fogs. The car looks pretty decent. We're gonna give it a six and a half and move on. Yeah, I like the wheels. Next. Wait, we gotta rate it. Um, seven. Eh, yeah. Ooh, I like these wheels a lot too. Yeah, these are nice too. I'm gonna give this one a seven. Ooh, next up, man. Three nice wheels in a row. Now you guys are really making me want a white TL. Should I save up for a white TL? This one's lovely though, so I'm gonna give this one a 10. It just looks really good to me. I'm sorry the image is a little bit blurry. I know this guy on Instagram, it's like unicorn TL or something like that. It's been through a lot, but everything he's done to it, like a lot of money has been put into this car. It looks really good, especially on his Instagram. Besides the wheels of this setup though, I think the wheels are just too much for the TL. It more fits on like a, um, like a wagon or something like that. But that's his style. It looks really aggressive, and I'm gonna give this one an eight. Another red TL. Okay, we do have more than I thought we had in here. They seem to be the most rare color. Hey, you're all stuck. You're probably just enjoying life, driving around, not scraping anywhere. Life must be good for you. We're gonna give you a seven. It's crazy how you can be stuck and still get a seven. You're the rarest guy around here, so we gotta give it to you. Single exit exhaust for TSX. The wheels look nice. Nice photo. We're gonna give this one a seven and a half. UTL owners out there aren't getting creative with this. I know parts are limited, mods are limited. You gotta get creative, and I'm not seeing it yet, so. I'm gonna give this one a five, and next up, oh yeah. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one in the bunch. Look at this, guys. If the owner of this is watching this right now, can you tell me where you got that lip from? I want that hood now. Oh man, I'm gonna give this one a 10. Straight 10 out of 10. Oh man, this TSX is 10 out of 10 too. I've seen it in person. Struts that are holding up the splitter makes the front end like look really aggressive to me. This car is perfect. It says Mugen in the front. Fitment's so nice for a static car. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 too. I like this car a lot. I've seen it in person too, like I said, and it looks really good. I like this TL. The photo may be dark a little bit, but I like it. Um, you can use a little bit of camber in the front. It looks really straight up and down. But other than that, I like this car. For what you've done to a base TL, I'm gonna give it an eight. This car is a base model, but nonetheless, it looks good. It's been back, it has a nice fitment, and the photo quality is very good. So we're gonna give it an eight and move on. I'm sorry if I get this wrong. I don't know the difference. Can somebody please tell me down in the comments what the difference is between a 2012 and a 2014 TL. Um, if there is no difference from looks wise, 
I'm off the hook, but if there is, please let me know down in the comments. That looks really good. Besides the wheels, if even if it's your winner setup, you shouldn't have sent this photo in. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. It's just besides the stock wheels. Other than that, I like this car a lot. These cars have a pretty aggressive front end. That is going to conclude part three of rating your guys' cars, the TL version. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. It feels really good having the platform to see so many good looking TLs and you guys are willing to enter them in. So just thank you guys for entering your cars. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed this series. I'm not gonna do this for a while now because I spend too much time editing and putting these together. I'm not somebody who can sit in a chair for this long and do these kind of videos. I'm also not a talker and don't consider me as someone who can judge other people's cars. I'm the last one for a little while now, unless you guys give me 500 likes. What's off of me, it's in your guys' hands now. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit subscribe if you're new, drop a like on this video. Later. Hey, yeah, I'm out of peanut butter. Could you stop by a store on your way here?